welcome to the garden. These are the leaf cuttings that we took from our ghost plant, or grop the petalum, and the ones that we did in summer are doing really well. I want to plant these out today, but let's take a look at the ones we took over winter. Winter really isn't the best time to take leaf cuttings, but now that it's summer, these ones have plumped up quite a bit. You can see how thick they are, they look like jelly beans. And this one in front actually has some decent growth. That's actually a decent brand new ghost plant. So this propagation method really works. Just wiggle them until they pop off and just like that we've got a little leaf cutting. I set these out on my normal potting soil. I did an experiment a while back with sand and soil and misting and not misting. Just giving them a little spray it kind of mimics that natural cycle of mourning where they get covered in dew. And that theoretically helps the roots grow, but honestly, I didn't see much of a difference between the half that were misted and the half that weren't. All these roots formed in about a month, which is much better than these winter ones, which took, I think, three or four months to root. So we get a huge head start by doing this in the summer season. We're just going to nestle those roots under the soil and make sure the leaves stick out a bit. These leaves are getting a little bit soft at the moment, so I think I'm probably a little late in doing this. But they should rebound and plump up just like our winter ones. These roots are really healthy. You can see a little red coloration on some of them there. This one already has a few brand new leaves, so it's forming a new plant already. That's a lot faster than our winter cuttings. So on the ones that are forming leaves, we want to make sure that we give them a little bit of light. So we're just going to bury the roots and make sure that those brand new leaves are sticking out. That way they'll get a little bit of light, which is actually really important. It can be really easy to forget about these and just put them on a shelf somewhere. But if they don't get enough light, they're going to give up. So we just got a couple more here to do real quick. And then it'll be interesting to compare the summer and winter cuttings over time. These ones had quite a bit of head start in time, but I think these ones will have a head start in productivity. So I really hope you stay tuned and see how these compare the summer cuttings versus the winter cuttings. Now a few viewers have recommended that we try splitting our chrysula leaves in half. I've been trying to propagate these as well and they take a really really long time to root if they root at all. I'm just gonna break them off right on the plant in half but by leaving them just on some soil like this in the open air, they're going to heal and hopefully set down roots. I like to propagate my chrysula from crown cuttings, where we just take the crown, or stem cuttings, where we take a segment of stem, bury that in the soil, but we always end up stripping the bottom leaves. so. If we can get these split leaves to propagate, that'll be a great way to multiply our cursula. So thank you for the recommendation. This will be a fun experiment. I hope you stay tuned for this one as well. These are all just basically free. So I hope you give this a grow in your succulent garden. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.